What's going on, AT? A little peek behind the curtain. I had an issue recording this video because the file is corrupted. I am now looking at this video and watching it with you. What I was doing here is I saw we were going up against Big Bad Nightmares. That threw me off. And I had a look, saw that we were still going up and still had number one team as Big Bad Wolves, but wasn't familiar with Big Bad Nightmares. After seeing us, I realized that they are making a family. So it looks like there's only three teams, the Big Bad Wolves, Big Bad uh, Hellhounds, and then Big Bad Nightmares. Uh, pretty much. Uh, I was given a little backstory here about how teams can be really hard to manage, especially when you have families. Uh, sometimes they have hierarchies, sometimes they don't. And I actually come from a team that was a family of three. Um, we held on for quite some time, but unfortunately there was some internal politics that kind of divided us. And that is the demise of so many families that happens. It's just a, a few key people who are in charge disagree and split ways. But neither here nor there. It is a lot. If you're running a team, I'm sure you know. Uh, there's friends all around. I think that's the, the thing I try to focus on most is that there are good people in a lot of these teams. Some of those hard uh, personalities can really divide a big groups. So if you're in that kind of space, you know what I'm talking about. If you're a leader or an officer, you have to deal with these like little second job HR issues. Uh, it, it can be hard, but let's get playing. And by let's get playing, I mean, let's watch me play together. Decided to go with Evil Monkey first, and was uh, figuring the first thing we want to do is head out to uh, feed the dodo, and I think the big purpose here is that we want to try to get as much stall out as possible, especially if we were going to see Zap actually combo. So we didn't get to see that, and... I really like Peter because the shield here, I'm sure I'm going to show it. Yep, 43. Get that grow, get that shield. Uh, I think it's really nice because even with that Warhorse buff, nothing's going to happen. I'm, I'm invincible right there. Uh, I'm thinking not Evil Monkey. I was going to do Evil Monkey. See, I'm, I'm all here. This was literally an hour ago. Uh, and then this really threw me off. How is this a big bad family? And yet we see a defense combo with Dog Lois. That's, a, that's an epic. I mean, big bad is supposed to be the big baddies. I don't expect to see any epics. Not at the top, top tiers. But I don't know. Things get a, things, things get a little weird here. Now what do I do? Do I want a combo? Or do I just put Tremaine down so I'm not taking hits to my, my main hero? I think that's what I do. I also got really good defense, and I don't see anything getting through. Dog Lois isn't a big concern, so. I think here I decide to make a combo. Just go health. Obviously, we're already pretty healthy, but nothing bad about having an insurance policy and try to maximize the most out of your rumble score. So. Bobby, where are we going, Jermaine? I would do Bobby in slot five. Do I do it? And also, I would definitely, well, Jermaine, I guess if I'm going to win, do I take anything down here? Oh, I take down Dog Lois. I thought I was gonna take down Dog Lois, that's right. Thought I was going to take down Dog Lois. I forgot about the shield. And then I just assumed I was putting out Tremaine for high health. Uh, then I realized that was not going to be the case. And I threw out PK because PK guaranteed me that Tremaine would bring us home. Doesn't get through. Doesn't get through. Doesn't get through. And Tremaine wins. There we go. This is how much I love y'all. I'm putting in this labor of love. I'm trying to make sure that I actually get this recording uploaded for you, even though I've already been through it. By the way, I also just started experimenting this round with fast forwarding. Uh, so I am going to be doing that a little bit here. If you appreciate that uh, and it makes for a little shorter videos, then you know feel free to let me know. Uh, and also, I think it just makes it easier for... 
uh, for Rumble because it is hard. I've said it before. Be in his place, record for 12, like to find that quiet place that you can record. I know you get 10 opportunities to do it because there's 10 rounds, but it is quite difficult. So it is something that uh, is, is going to be something that I'm going to try out. I'll warn you all. Look at that, a hundy. Hundy right there. Uh, and if you do like it, if you think it's better viewing experience and you're not missing anything too crazy, we can go ahead and keep it going. If you feel like it lessens the experience, please feel free to let me know and I can always try to pivot back. So back to the game. Snake Bob to start. Let's go ahead and speed this thing up. We're going to go. Oh, now is probably the time that I talked about speed up. I don't know. There was a moment we talked about this. You'll notice it in this bit. Keeping that healer, or are we doubling down on that punch because Eugene is not that strong? But one will do. Boom. Another hundy. Mr. Frizzle, 300. feel like Warhorse is the one we're going to start. I'm going to play as a, as a backseat player. Also, I'm pretty tired, so I, I, don't, I don't actually remember everything that I did. Kiss is what I would go next. And it's because we need to make that combo. Slow down Stan with uh, Feed the Dodo. Unless I just want to heal, but I don't because Kisses doesn't make... Uh, the expected combo for Leela. So we're just going to try to damper down with the cripple all and hopefully survive out uh, what's going on in slot one. This one, I think we just want to pump it up and get in front. So we went PK uh, because obviously I was a little worried about what was going on in slot one. So I'd rather just get some heavy attack going on the back end and try to win this thing. And also then we get some additional cripple all. Double down on PK. Do we lose slot one? If we do, it's not the end of the world. I actually see that's good. And then we can go ahead and throw in Falconer Haley, which is 99, better than 97, which I would have got from PK. And this will, because I got rid of my lowest health card, dang, I thought that was going to be it. If that did end, then it would have been one of the best case scenarios because then I would have gotten rid of the lowest health card and then finally actually gone through. Now I realize that PK, I, I'm pretty sure I made the same judgment call then. So I'm I'm not even learning from my mistakes last round. I realized that slot two would take it and I uh, went with PK. Matt770. All right, Matty boy, what are we going to do? I kind of wanted to save the evil monkey, so I started with Warhorse in case I needed a healer. I was very shocked to see BBS. I, Why are we playing BBS again on a big bad team? How are, like, this has to be, in my eyes, tier three. There is a rank in who gets seniority, and it feels like there might be some alts, you know, some accounts that you just kind of hang back that people the guild kind of owns because people have retired, let go, they're no longer either playing or they're just taking a break. Uh, those alt accounts normally get parked somewhere. And this feels like the place that they're parked because why are we seeing BBS? Unless it's just maybe a good defense combo because we're just trying to stop like what's going on with the, but it feels out of place to me. Hooked on feline. Followed by a little BB, a little, no, not BBS. Followed by a little Bobby, a little Snake Bob. There you go, nice fast forward. Um, Leela. Look at Seabreeze, 18 gas, and that's just unfused. Or, that's, uh, that's just fused. Little PK out the back, and we think we're gonna win it, but we didn't. And 
This should be the highest health that we can put out, which will get us a hundy. Let's go. And so far, gotta be honest. Oh, Batman. Uh, I think at this point I, I was realizing maybe Big Bad Nightmares wasn't so much of a nightmare, but I don't think it was all easy. I was trying to see, I saw the 45 and I was just like, man, how do they get so much gas? But I forgot it was assigned by me, not about to give to me. Uh, and then I kind of struggled here because I knew I was probably going to take a hit from Warhorse, but that one had enough that I was just barely going to miss it as long as it didn't motivate. So to go Evil Monkey, or did I, no, I did that. Bob, I would assume. Dang. Why didn't I? Because then I would just start taking hits. Did I go Jermaine? Because that would have gotten us the win. Get the, yeah, cheer all, that, that does it. What are you playing for your uh, your offense? What's your, your one hit, what's kind of like the strategy you're playing? Definitely go ahead and feel free to let me know. Um, I think I have a decent setup, but I could have more healer in there. I, I, I don't know if I need like a Haley or something, but it feels like I'm still losing a little bit too much. I know it's not a very impressive PC, but Falconer Haley is, is actually one that lasts pretty long. I, I use her off BG once in a while when I just need like a healer to mix in. There you go with the fast forward again. Evil Monkey, I would probably do Leela. Um, but it looks like I'm pretty low on the attack, so I think I changed my mind and I ended up doing Stan. So we could build up a little bit more attack. Maybe I didn't, who knows? I was very indecisive. Is this how it feels watching me? <laughs> Apparently I was just like, you know what, I don't need a combo, I'm gonna take a slot two out anyways we'll just go ahead and do this and i don't need the heal combo i'm gonna put out leela's worst combo that i don't have any cm on go ahead and motivate slot three and take the win it worked out it's a hundy but i also broke my rule there last video i said you should not combo you should just put the extra card out there you don't need to combo on the last one even if you're at 100 it's just good practice to go ahead and uh, put more health out and just give yourself a better chance at getting a higher score in case if anything goes awry like for instance uh, their hero right now has payback so that could definitely just shave a point off and you would end up in a 99 instead of 100 if you don't have enough health on the field slowly chipping away at wolf jeff because he had grow that was something I, I definitely noticed early on, so I wanted to make sure I get rid of that. I think this one I kind of messed up because Bruce the Goose has so much gas. And I made, again, this terrible Leela combo. And I already saw it was 41 gassed, and I have no heal uh, ability. So that 28 is going to do nothing for me. PK. It's just about trying to get out alive. I probably PK again. Yep. High health, don't have any combos. Go for it, buddy. What am I saying here? What am I thinking? Get in the mind of Jerry. I'm talking strategy somehow. I, I mean, it's 41. I would just PK right there. Oh, no, no, no. I wanted to get, I wanted to kill my slot two, that's what's going on here. So by playing Jermaine, I guaranteed that I was going to cut down their health with my slot three PK, and I was not gonna actually kill them. But it would give Bruce the Goose enough time to gas my Leela, and that would give me the better overall score. So that's what I ended up doing here. And now we get to see that play out. 
It was a reasonable pause. That was a good pause for the right reasons because that was good strategy. Took a little bit to the actual health on the character or on the hero, put out a big PC, and then had a really good distribution of health in play that helped get me the 96. Nice. That definitely would have been lower. I think Lila was in the 20s or something. Get lit. Okay. Don't gotta ask me twice. Let me finish this recording first, though. Uh, Snake Bob. My favorite thing is seeing Snake Bob, or, or really any combo, when they play a, a hijack combo, and I don't have craze. It's like, sure. Go ahead and hijack all of the gas, punch, and payback you want. You did. Bob again. It's not going to be enough to get through Feed the Dodo because it is higher power, but at least it uh, makes it easy for the next time I go for slot one can just clear out their slot one. And then I think we're just piling on some health and piling on that motivate. Ideally, I wanted that uh, my slot one to take the punch on slot two, but that did not work out. Nonetheless, this should still be the win. Ba boom. Ninety-nine. There we go. Another round completed. Took on the big bad nightmare. Not so bad. A uh, few interesting strategies there, but that's kind of what the game is. So. I don't know where this exactly ended, so before we actually hit the end of the video where it freezes and starts getting corrupt again because I'm recording over it, uh, I will bid you farewell, and I thank you very much for watching. I would ask that if you've made it this far, go ahead and consider liking, subscribing, and I will catch you in the next one. Y'all take care, and best luck on your hits. See ya.